Do you want to know the most important calculation that a process engineer does in industry? Good morning. I am Ajay. I have authored two best-selling chemical engineering books. The answer to this question is line sizing. Say for example, if you want to supply municipal potable water to residential complex, the water flow rate is at 200 meter cube per hour. So what line size you will choose, whether it is 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch. This question may seem easy, but trust me, it is risky business. If you choose a big size, then it is going to be a costly affair. And if you select a smaller pipe size, then of course you will save some money, but the high velocity in the pipe will make things even uh, bad for the system. It will lead to high vibration in the pipe. It will have uh, erosion corrosion issues associated with it. It will have a high pressure drop across the pipe. And of course the pumping cost will be also on higher side. Fortunately, we have API 14E to help us through this. Line sizing is carried out using two criteria. First one is the velocity criteria which is mandatory that means it must be satisfied and the second one is the pressure drop criteria it means uh, it nice to follow that for example if you have a centrifugal pump suction line then the typical velocity would be one meter per second if it is pump discharge side it will be about 2.7 meter per second velocity if it is a gravity line so around one meter per second typical velocity we maintain if it is a compressed gas line, then the maximum velocity would be 18 meter per second. If it is vent line, then the maximum allowable back pressure should be 0.07 bar H. For two phase line sizing, we ensure that the mixture velocity V is comfortably less than VE, which is erosion velocity. For PSV inlet line sizing, we ensure that the pressure drop is less than 3% of the set pressure. In the PSV outlet line, which is tailpipe, we ensure that the Mach number is less than 0.7. Same with the criteria for the depressurization line or blowdown line. If it is a flare header, then we ensure that the Mach number is less than 0.5. I hope that this information was useful to you. Please do share this video with your friends. And let me work on uh, some other interesting video for you. Thank you very much.